Five ways to make your beaver city more beautiful. Welcome to Timberborn Design Episode 7. As I already said, I give you five tips to make your city more beautiful. Let's get started, shall we? Tip number one. Use decorations wildly. Decorations don't only look good, they are useful too and give bonus to your sweet little beavers. The beaver statue, roofs and shrub give 5% working speed each. The bench sadly doesn't have impact but looks good nonetheless. As you can see there, a mixture of a farming field with fences, benches and shrubs can create a really good looking area. Even some only occasional shrubs and benches make a huge difference. Here we go, tip number two. Make places like campfires and temples and monuments interesting. Most people tend to directly connect the campfire or temple to an already existing path, which is sad because you can do so much more with them. Also it doesn't need to be that close to be effective and have bonus for your beavers. Just look at this one. It has a fence around it, there's a nice pathway with rooftops, shrubs and two campfires on the way to the temple. Also you can see some statues and benches, this truly creates a very unique, nice looking place. For monuments even small changes make them more good looking. This one has some platforms with roofs on top, rubs and stages again. Nothing special but you see how much of an impact it has. If you want to crank it up, you can also of course do something like this. Tip number 3. Use platforms and roofs all over the place. There's not much more to say. You've seen a lot of platforms and roofs already in the first two tips. But I for myself have only seen that a few people in Discord used this to decorate the landscape. Just place down some platforms and on top of that mix it with different roofs and shapes. Also if you create a bridge over water with platforms, use it there too. Platforms for themselves look really really boring. And with some shrubs it is even more interesting for the eye. Tip number 4. Get creative with buildings. Don't just place building after building in a straight row and of course not randomly across the surface because it fills some base. Get creative and do yourself some blueprints and for sure just watch my warning Timberborn design series or Timberborn Sir David Attenborough imitation. Link at the end of the video. Maybe try something like this. Let me show you each level of it. Level 1, 2, level 3 and so on. Here's another example. Two small warehouses on top of each other with platforms, shrubs in front of it and obviously a little bit elevated. Or another simple warehouse but in combination with the rooftop terraces. Tip number 5. The most obvious and at the same time the non most obvious thing to do is plant natural things. Yeah, you got it. Place all sorts of trees and berries apart from shrubs. With the new experimental build there's even more to plants. And if you made it here in this video and watched briefly to the end, there's one more tip. Make vertical changes. Don't build all things completely flat. As you can see it's mostly the vertical change which makes this place very original. If I would have built this all at the same level, it would look very... Flat. <laughs> yeah, let's call it flat. And boring, of course. Here we go. Now you can see the links to the other videos. Thanks for watching. All ideas, suggestions into the comments, please. And for the YouTube algorithm, if you want to help me out. Thank you very much and have a nice week. Cheers.